Hey guys, so I wanted to talk about some of the jewelry that I make and sell. And these babies are the ones that started it all. These are my classic terrarium rings. I started making them about four years ago. They just sent me down this journey of resin making and I just fell in love with it. As you can see here, they have a black bottom and a clear top, but when I first started making them, I was making them clear, and these are also in my shop. If you prefer the clear version, I have many choices of these as well. And then we have some silver leaf versions and these quartz rings, which I somehow managed to make once and I had the viscosity right of the resin and I have been very difficult to replicate but yeah these are I don't think they're in the shop but if you're interested in a specific size let me know and these actually take a little bit of time to finish they are hand sculpted from models that I sculpt myself so let me know which ones you like best so I can get an idea of what to work on more in the comments. So probably my most popular are these dried flower pendants. I showed a video in one of my other studio vlogs about the types of flowers I use and I give you the names of all of them so if you're curious um, just head over to that blog. I can link below and yeah, these are probably my most popular and they are very pretty These are sort of like the OG pendants and these are my terrarium pendants And here's a few examples of the types of shapes I use as well And these are all lichens mostly and a few mosses the natural colors in them are really pretty and they're really cool, great for like nature lovers, hikers, terrarium lovers, and these don't ever fade. They stay super colorful and beautiful, and yeah, I love these. These are probably one of my favorites. I have to say these are probably one of the earlier pendants that I also started making. It's the gemstone in resin pendants, and these two are citrine gemstones, and we have some silver leaf in them as well. And these are really pretty. And then we have tumbled emerald gemstones. Those are the gemstone in resin. And these are also pretty OG. These are my feathers in resin, as well as some silver leaf. Very pretty, um, good for any occasion. Super popular in the fall and the winter. Whereas the other ones are probably more summery like the flower, springy, as well as the tram, more suited for summer as well. And these, actually, I don't have very many of these. They tend to sell out kind of quick. Um, these are my pressed flower pendants as opposed to the dried flower pendants. As you can see, they are pressed. Um, and they also have a protect protective layer over them in the resin so that they don't bleed, the color doesn't bleed, and they stay intact within the resin. So there's that extra layer of protection in there so they don't fade or anything like that. And then lastly, these are probably my most recent. These are my lavender pendants. And these are just lavender flowers with a little bit of silver leaf in them. And these are great for lavender lovers, as well as your cook friends. I was thinking about making a series of like herb infused pendants for cooks. I do love cooking and you know, being a kitchen manager for a while. Um, these all are available in my shop. Just let me know which ones are your favorite. I always like seeing which ones are favored by my customers because honestly I just don't know and the feedback is really helpful so in the comments leave what your favorite is what you'd like to see more of uh, stuff like that thanks guys and all of these are available at my shop at squidlicks.com and check them out thanks